Hey guys, so today I'm just going to make a very quick video here about something that we now know and that is that Sam is going to work, uh, you know, start to work on their new Exynos processor. It's probably going to be in the Samsung Galaxy S4, but they're, they're going to start to do it in mass production here in Q2 2012. That basically means um, the, the month, the month uh, you know, like April, May, June, those are going to be the month where, you know, Sam is going to really, you know, starting to do Exynos 5250's system on a chip, uh, dual core configuration processors. Now, basically what this means is that this is not a quarter core configuration. So, you know, that, that they even haven't started to mass produce this, this probably means that we are not going to see this in the Samsung Galaxy S3, even though we, we have, have heard this that Sammy doesn't know, or like right now, if they're going to unveil, uh, when they're going to like announce the Samsung Galaxy S3. But, you know, I really don't think they're going to see the Exynos 5250. I think I made another video about another Exynos processor or system on a chip configuration that uh, we're probably likely going to see. Because, I mean, it takes time to get these things out on the market. First, they need to mass produce them. Then they need to figure out the phone that's going to work awesome with this and everything. So, I mean, we we can see a smartphone late this year running on an Exynos 5250. But likely, that is a phone that probably will be launched in 2013 earliest. Because, I mean, it does take time to do all those things. And, uh, you know, this, this thing that, you know, we have quad core coming up. You know, I know it's not all about specs, of course it's about performance, but I mean, quad core sounds good, it's a major selling point, and a lot of people or a lot of companies are going to take advantage of that, but we're probably going to see another kind of, if if it's a quad core smartphone, that we're going to see some kind of quad core configuration, a system on a chip, like, uh, of course, we're probably not going to see Tegra 3, because we do know that they are not like, uh, yeah. I'm not even sure if Sam is going to unveil a NVIDIA Tegra 3 device because they have their own, you know, kinds of system on chips uh, up, and, up and running. But, um, no, quad core configuration, if it's going to be, it's not, if the Samsung Galaxy S3 is going to be quad core, it's probably going to use some kind of quad core configuration. Uh, but, yeah, it, it will be interesting to, you know, once it's out, because as I said, it's a dual core configuration. But uh, it will still be interesting to see how it's going to hold up to NVIDIA Tegra 3. And I mean, when this device do get launched, then we may even have Tegra 4 out. And that's probably going to be badass, because we do know that Tegra 3 is kind of awesome uh, on the graphics part. Uh, but we also do know that Exynos 5250 is going to be like 50% uh, better performance compared to the Cortex-A9. And that it's uh, running on two Cortex A15 chips um, that is clocked at two gigahertz. So, you know, very hi very high end clocked thing is even though it's running on a dual core thing. But you know, it's going to be interesting to see how quad core is going to be on smartphones. How they're going to take advantage of that extra power. Um, I mean, we do know that we have like five cores on the Tegra three. Uh, one that that's you know is you know mostly to say power when you aren't doing heavy things like gaming and stuff like that, and it's gonna be interesting. I mean, those people that don't play games and don't do you know heavy stuff with their Nvidia Tegra three quad core uh, configuration, they should be enjoying a pretty decent battery. Uh, but yeah, it will be interesting to find out uh, about what we we'll, you know will uh, see. And also, what's so interesting is that uh, this the fifty two fifty supports a very very high resolution uh, displays uh, with a resolution of 2560 times 1600 um, so yeah that's gonna be bad us on a phone 2560 times 1600 isn't that too big yeah we will definitely find out but uh, yeah and also I did read that it will be able to handle like 1080p video at 60 frames per second that is banana crazy yeah yeah and also memory bandwidth, uh, if you do care about those, if you are a geek, you probably already do know this, but 12.8 gigabytes a second, or a gigabit, yeah, see you.